Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to change your nails from this to this using gel extensions. So what are gel extensions? Gel extensions are full cover nails that are attached with gel and once you apply them, all you have to do is paint gel polish or normal polish on top. Gel extensions are super easy for anyone who wants to start doing their nails at home because there's a minimal filing required. The first step is to prep your nails. I'm going to take this cuticle remover and apply it on all of my cuticles. This is going to soften the cuticle, making it really easy to remove. To remove any dead skin on my nails, I'm going to use this cuticle pusher that's really wide on one end and has this sharp side that's really easy to get those hard to reach places. I'm using the wide end of the cuticle pusher to remove any dead skin that's on my nail plate. And I'm also going to use this to push back my cuticles. Doing this part is super important because you want to make sure that you're starting on a clean canvas before you start applying your extensions. If you don't do this part, your extensions will be sticking to dead skin and debris instead of the nail plate. This is going to cause your extension to lift or even pop off. Now I'm going to use the other side of the cuticle pusher to get the sides of my nails. Next, I'm going to carefully remove my cuticles using a cuticle nipper. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a nail tech, I'm just someone who loves to do their nails at home. If you want a full tutorial on how to remove your cuticles, I'll link a video below. After removing my cuticles, I will take this alcohol prep pad and remove all of the dead skin and dust left on my nail. To further clean my nail, I'm going to take this nail brush and wash my hands in the sink and scrub away any of that dead skin left. The next step is to size your extensions. I'm using these medium almond gel extensions from Amazon. I'm going to make sure that each extension fits sidewall to sidewall. This extension doesn't quite fit to my sidewall, so I'm going to grab a bigger size. If you're in between sizes, you always want to make sure you're going with the bigger size. Since this extension is too big, I'm going to file it and make it fit. This extension fits sidewall to sidewall, but it doesn't fit perfectly on my cuticles. This is another example of the extension not fitting sidewall to sidewall, so I will pick a bigger size. To make this extension fit perfectly, I'm going to take this nail file, it's 100 by 180 grit, and I'm going to gently file the sides until it fits completely on my nail. This one fits sidewall to sidewall, but I'm going to file the part where it overlaps on my cuticle. Next, I'm going to prep the extensions. I'm going to take this electric nail file, attach the sanding band that comes with it. I will etch the inside of the nail to create a rough surface. This will make the extension stick to my nail better. This drill bit is too big to fit my smaller nails, so I'm going to change it to this cone bit. Now that all the extensions are etched, I'm going to take this alcohol prep pad and remove all the dust. 
I get a lot of questions on these gloves and these are UV protective gloves that will protect my hands from the UV nail lamp. So you always want to make sure you're using some kind of dehydrator. This is going to remove any oils on your nail plate. Any oils on your nails will increase the chance of your nails popping off. Next, I'm going to use a nail primer. This is going to create a tacky layer which will make the extensions stick onto my nails better. After I let the nail primer dry, I'm going to take the gel glue and apply it as a base coat on all of my nails. By doing this, I will apply my extensions better and I will avoid any heat spikes on my nails when I'm flash curing my extensions. I'm going to make sure that I'm not applying any of the gel glue on my skin. This could cause skin irritation and a potential allergic reaction. I'm using this flat brush dipped in acetone to clean up any excess gel on my skin. Before I cure my nails, I'm going to make sure that the glove is covering all of my skin. I'm using these bobby pins to secure the glove in place. Cure all of your nails for at least 30 seconds. Next, I'm going to take that same nail primer and apply it on all of my extensions. This will create that sticky layer so the extensions will really stick onto my nail and not pop off. To place the extensions on my nails, I'll be using this mini LED lamp. This lamp is going to make it super easy to flash cure all of the extensions. To turn it on, there's a button in the back. I will take some gel glue and apply a layer under my extension. I'm going to coat the entire part where I etched the nail. Then I will pull some excess gel at the bottom to fill in the gap between the extension and my natural nail. Before I apply the extension, I will make sure that I turn on the lamp first. Then I will apply the extension at an angle and push down, and then flash cure under the lamp for at least 10 seconds. To avoid any air bubbles, make sure that you're using enough gel to fill in the gap. To avoid any gel seeping out the sides of the extension, make sure to not let go of pressure at the bottom of the nail. I'm going to clean up the excess gel under my nail with a flat brush that is dipped in acetone. After you flash cured all of the extensions, make sure to cure for 60 seconds under the big lamp. I like to round out the almond shape with a nail file and make them more of a round shape. Before applying any gel polish, I will buff the surface of the extension with a buffer block. This will help avoid any gel polish from chipping. Next, I'm going to take this drill bit and start sealing the cuticles. Sealing the cuticles means that I will be filing the bottom part of the nail so that it's flushed with my cuticles. This will also make my extensions less bulky at the bottom and make my gel application look more seamless. If your extensions feel bendy, try to use a base gel to give the extension more strength. Since I don't have that issue with these extensions, I will start painting my gel color. I'm using my favorite gel color called Paloma by La Chat. I'm making sure to be very careful when painting near my cuticle. If I flood my cuticle with gel polish, my nail will be prone to lifting.
I'm using a liner brush to get even closer to the cuticle so that I'm avoiding flooding this area. Make sure to always clean up with a flat brush dipped in acetone because leaving gel polish on the skin will hurt and could cause irritation. After curing for 60 seconds, I will finish with top coat. I usually use the Beetle top coat, but I want to try this stain resistant top coat from Young Nails since I will be keeping my extensions on for another month. <laughs> I'm applying the Beatles top coat under my nail so that food and dust will not stick to the underside of my extensions. I'm finishing my nails with my favorite cuticle oil to bring back hydration to my skin. And I'm finishing the look with my favorite rings from Amazon that are super affordable. And that's how I apply my gel extensions to make sure that they last for at least one month. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more nail content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, nail queens. Bye!